For decades, brain tumor treatments have had relatively few new advances. However, thanks to patients participating in clinical trials, there are more options for the standard of care. A clinical trial allows patients to gain access to experimental treatments in the hopes that it will help them today and, once approved, help future patients. But what else should you know? Here are the top five things you need to know about brain tumor clinical trials. Number one, clinical trials are carefully planned. Clinical trials evaluate unproven medicines. When hearing that, some people get nervous. What you should know is that clinical trials in the United States are well regulated and they are not approved without oversight. An Institutional Review Board, or IRB, approves clinical trials after reviewing them for patient safety. To get that approval, the perceived benefits of the trial have to outweigh the potential risks. Further, for drugs entering human trials for the first time, the FDA typically has to approve an investigational new drug application before the trial proceeds. So in general, a potential new drug has to go through five to seven years of preclinical testing before it enters the IRB approval process. Number two they're often paired with the standard treatment. Many new drugs and devices are aiming to extend life, slow tumor growth, or enhance the day-to-day -day life of the patient. With some exceptions, brain tumor clinical trials evaluate the use of experimental devices or treatments alongside the current care options. There is often a fear that patients in trials could be in the group that receives a placebo and thus not get any real treatment. However, in brain tumor and cancer clinical trials, that is not the case. Trials evaluating potential new treatments are compared against the current available treatment. In most cases, one group of patients will get the standard treatment, while the other will get the experimental treatment and the standard of care. Number three, they provide access to cutting edge procedures and medicines. If you're already dealing with a highly treatment resistant tumor, clinical trials give you the chance to try medicines and treatments that may increase your chances of survival. Currently, there are only four approved drugs and one medical device available in the standard of care. Clinical trials can be the avenue that allows you access to tomorrow's treatments today, benefiting you now and future patients tomorrow. Number four, they're often under-enrolled. In a recent survey, only 24% of brain tumor patients discussed clinical trials with their medical team at diagnosis. Doctors often wanna move quickly when treating patients because they have the best of intentions. They're out to save your life. However, factors like tumor type, your current health, and what treatment options you are already undergoing may make you ineligible for a clinical trial. Talking with your doctor about these options right up front before the treatment begins may present you with more options. Number five, where to find them. Even if clinical trials are discussed with you, where would you find them? While the government provides a comprehensive database of all current clinical trials, some brain tumor patients have had a really hard time looking for trials geared toward their type of tumor. National Brain Tumor Society has created a clinical trial finder that will allow you to search by your location, age, gender, tumor type, and more. While you're searching for a clinical trial, it's important that you speak openly to your medical team to see what they recommend, and that you move forward with the treatment option that feels right to you. To search for a clinical trial, go to trials.braintumor.org. Also, if you're looking for more information on all stages of the brain tumor experience, you can go to braintumor.org slash the experience.